أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفر ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يحده الله فلا مدل له ومن يدلله فلا هادي الله وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسول يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تعمتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبسى منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرهام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يتى الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما صدق الله العظيم I seek refuge in Allah from Satan be rejected in the name of Allah who is most gracious, most merciful. Alhamdulillah, once again we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for sparing our lives and giving us the health and guidance of coming out and offering our Jummah Salah. Praise be to Allah who will gather mankind together against a day about which there is no doubt. And I be a witness that there is no God but Allah, the grantor of bounties without measure. It is he who shapes you in the wombs as he pleases. There is no God but he, the exalted in might, the wise. And I be a witness that Muhammad, upon whom be peace, is his servant and messenger the unlettered prophet who believes in Allah and his words. Follow him that you may be guided to the right way. Alhamdulillah, my dear brothers and sisters, today we are experiencing uneasiness in the atmosphere because of the happenings on the world stage. And that is oppression, injustice, bullying, and all manner of evils have always plagued us. There is no reason to be afraid. However, we, we must be cautioned and put our trust wholeheartedly in our Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is our protector. Also, the administrators are taking steps to safeguard and protect the masjid and those who attend. You too should be cautious, take steps to safeguard yourself, your family, and your property. In wars, children are often the most venerable members of their communities. Often they are separated from their families or are orphaned. They are forced to flee their homes and are internally displaced or living as refugees in, bomb, in bombed out areas. Many die or are permanently disabled or seriously injured. Ongoing fights or ongoing fighting frequent exposure to violence and an overall environment of fear 
and despair leaves children with too heavy a burden to bear. They too often experience emotionally and psychology, psychologically painful events. They are displaced from their loved ones. Homes are disrupted and they are watched and they watch their families become wiped out. The trauma makes everyday life an increasing burden. The children experience stress, hopelessness, and are haunted by regular nightmares. Once upon a time, war was contemplated between the kingdom of Solomon, alayhi musala, and the kingdom of the queen of Sheba, which is Bilkis. The queen held war discussions with her council. She said, kings, when they enter a country, despoiled it and make the noblest of its people its meanest. Thus do they behave. Quran chapter 27, Ayah 34. My dear brothers and sisters, pray for the children of Palestine. Ask your children to pray for the children affected by wars. Pray for all, especially those who are being oppressed and being warred upon, those who have been displaced from their homes, those who have been victims of bullying, those who have been affected by armed conflicts, those who are being enslaved, those who are being robbed of the quiet and tranquil enjoyment of their homes, and those who have been adversely affected by weather condition, disease, or injuries, those who are victims of unjust leaders and government laws. At a time in which Muslims are beset with trials for every prophecy, it is a time when Muslims should continue being Muslims. Only better Muslims. Don't be sad. If you are on the true religion, believing in one God and all the messengers sent to mankind, then don't be sad. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us in the Holy Quran, La tahzana inna allaha ma'ana. Bear with patience whatever befalls you. Chapter 31, Ayah 17. And La tahzana inna allaha ma'ana. And be not sad, Surely Allah is with us. Chapter 9, Ayah 40. Our beloved Prophet wasallam said, Verily, if Allah loves a people, he makes them go through trials. Whoever is satisfied for him is contentment, and whoever is angry upon him is wrath. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sufficient for us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again reminds us in the Holy Quran. Waqalu hasbuna Allahu wa niyamal waki. Fan kalabu bi niyamatim min Allahi wa fadlil wa fadlil lam yassam lam yas lam yamsasum su'a wa wa taba'u ridwan Allah. Wallahu zu fadilil azim. Allah is sufficient for us, and He is the best disposer of affairs. So they return with grace and bounty from Allah. No harm touch them, and they follow the good pleasure of Allah, and Allah is the owner of great bounty.
Quran chapter 3, ayat 173 and 174. And again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us, put your trust in Allah, for if you are believers indeed, O you who believe, seek help in patience and prayer. By leaving your affairs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by depending on Him, by trusting in His promise, by being pleased with His decree, by thinking favorable of Him, and by waiting patiently for His help, you reap some of the greater fruits of faith. When you incorporate these qualities, you will be at peace concerning the future because you will depend on your Lord for everything. As a result, you will find care, help, protection, and victory. Again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us the meaning of which <clears throat> no calamity befalls on earth or in oneself, but is inscribed in the book of decrees before we bring it into existence. Chapter 57, higher 22. The pen has dried, and the pages have been lifted. All events shall come to pass, have already been written. Whatever has befallen you was not meant to escape you, and whatever has escaped you was not meant to befall you. If this is belief, where to be firmly ingrained in our heart, then all hardships and difficulty would become ease and comfort. Our beloved Prophet wasallam said more or less, whoever Allah wishes good for, he inflicts him with hardship. Verily, with hardship there is uh, relief. Verily, with hardship there is relief. Perhaps Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may bring victory or a decision according to his will. Again, Quran chapter 5, ayah 52. And our holy prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to Abdullah bin Abbas radiallahu an, be mindful of Allah. You will find him before you. Get to know Allah in prosperity, and he will know you in adversity. And know that victory comes with patience, relief and afflictions, and ease with hardship. My dear brothers and sisters, we should accept life as it is. If you read the Quran, you will see that all the prophets went through trials and tribulations. Life is a test, so let us learn from the best examples of the prophets. Or think you that you will pass, or think you that you will enter paradise without such trials, as came to those who passed away before you. They were afflicted with severe poverty, ailments, and were shaken. Chapter 2, chapter two Ayah 214. We should know that if we are pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will be pleased with us. And if you are pleased with Allah, no matter what the situation is, then you will find that you have earned your Lord's pleasure. On the other hand, there are hypocrites whom Allah rejects their, de their deeds. They are displeased with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down, and they hate seeking his pleasure. Thus their deeds are performed in vain. Verily, in the remembrance of Allah do hearts find rest. Therefore remember me, and I will remember you. My dear brothers and sisters, the prayer, the prayer, we must return to our masjids, 
or you will believe, seek help in patience and prayer. Wastainu be sobri, wasola. By earnestly performing the five daily prayers, we achieve the greatest of blessings, clear of our sins and increase in rank with our Lord. Prayer is, potent, is a potent remedy for our sickness, for it instills in our faith, in our souls. As for those that keep away from the mosque, are away from prayer. For, for them is unhappiness, wretchedness, and an embittered life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us again, for them is destruction, and Allah will make their deeds vain. My dear brothers and sisters, take a moment to reflect. O oh, whose mind has wandered in grief, O oh, you whose eyes are loaded with tears, Relax and know that your Creator aids and that his mercy will bring you peace. And know that your reward is secure with him. He who doesn't disappoint the one who seeks to please him, be at peace. For after poverty comes joyful meeting and after sleeplessness, after sleeplessness comes sound rest. O oh, you who are oppressed in the lands, who suffer from hunger, pain, sickness, and poverty, rejoice in the knowledge that you will soon be satisfied with food and that you will be happy and in good health. My dear brothers and sisters, let us make these supplications, their purpose being to eliminate hardship anxiety and grief. There is no worthy or there is none worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the ever forbearing, the most great. There is none worthy of worship except Allah, the Lord of the tremendous throne. There is none worthy of worship, one who sustains and protects all that exists. There is none worthy of worship except you, and by your mercy do we seek your aid. So be patient with good patience. Chapter 70, Ayah 5. My dear brothers and sisters, we know there is two wars going on right now. One is Russia against Ukraine, and another one is Israel against Palestine. When there is war, it means there is hardship, there is killing, there is death, and you name it, all comes afterward. And not only which part they have the wars, which part they have also suffers the fate. We are here in the West, we are here in this country, United States of America. We are living here. Now we are part of this country. And here we are. In this country, all over the different states, we see humanity, mankind, brothers and sisters, protesting against these wars. Why? In other countries of the world, in every country you could name it, there is protest. Muslims as well as non-Muslims. Because we are all the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when we see injustice, then we have to talk about it. We go, to, if we can put it with our hands straight, then we talk, which is the lowest form of Iman. Over the past, few weeks, we heard the different kutbas from the different sheikhs, and that is prayer. Make dua. The beggars make dua, and this is what we could do. My dear brothers and sisters, the dua is the tool of the Muslim. 
we have a very great tool. And if we know how to make proper doa, we make the proper doa with sincerity from our hearts, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would, would not reject this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in control, and we know this. So we leave all the affairs of the world to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, bless all those who are sick and suffering. May he grant them shifa. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on all those brothers and sisters who are sick and suffering. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala show mercy on those Palestinians, brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers and the children, all those brothers and sisters who have passed away. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them Jannatul Firdaus. Barakallahu lana wa lakum fil Qur'anil azim wa nafana wa iyaakum bi ayati zikri lakim inna hu ta'ala jawarun kareemun maliku barahu kurrasi. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, he never mother who won a stay in a who won a stag of fear. One umino be he won a dog a lualay. When I was a bila, he mean shururi and fusina. Women say ya tia malina. May ya had he hila who fala mudilla. Women you lil fala had ya law. ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد بأعداد من صلى وصام اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد بأعداد من قاد وقام وصل على جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى كل ملائكة المقربين وعلى عباد الله الصالحين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين Ibad Allah, inna Allah ya'amuru bil adli wal isad, wa ita'i zil qurba, wa yanha'an il fahsha'i wal munkar, wal bak, ya izukum la'allakum tazakkarun, wa la zikrullahi ta'ala awla, wa awla wa a'azzu wa ajallu wa atamu wa ahamu wa akbar, hakim is-salah. Thank <laughs> you.